Welcome to High Alpha Thursdays, everybody, where we are interviewing leaders from across the High Alpha studio and capital portfolio to learn how these fast-growing companies think about hiring. Today, we are so excited to be joined by Lazalind, the lead talent acquisition partner at Xylo. Welcome, Lazalind. How are you? Good. Thank you for having me today. Good to have you. I love that you're putting yourself in the hot seat for the rapid fire questions. Yes, I'm excited. It's a bold move. <laughs> before, okay, so before I jump into the 10 questions, can you give a little intro into yourself and into Zylo for us? Yeah, so my name is Lazlyn Connell. I'm the lead talent acquisition partner here at Zylo. So I own the strategy and execution of our recruiting efforts across the organization. My day-to-day -day entails full cycle recruiting, and that means sourcing, application review, candidate calls, managing the interview process, all the way to offer acceptance. Uh, internally, I work with our hiring managers across the organization to kind of build that strategy to help us find that right hire and also deliver an exceptional candidate experience as well. Um, so Xylo as a company, it's um, kind of a niche industry, and I'm excited that we're part of this too. And essentially what our platform does is if you think about personal finance applications like Mint, we do that, but on a much grander scale. So we keep track of cloud application purchasing, how employees are using that, and also ongoing renewals to make those data-driven decisions when it comes time to either upgrade or downsize. Ooh, I feel like I need that. <laughs> Especially at the everyone end of needs that. Everybody needs it. At the end of the okay. year, you see all your subscriptions. You're like, did I have Audible the whole year? <laughs> did I use Audible? How many how many books did I actually end up listening to? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, awesome. Thank you for that. All right, so let me jump into our ten questions. Um, and I'm going to start now with the first one. Are you ready? Yes. We're good. Okay. Again, whatever comes to your mind first, like, yeah, whatever, literally whatever's top of mind for every question. Cool. All right. Number one, number one reason why you enjoy working at Xylo. Number one reason. There's actually a lot of reasons, but I think the top thing that comes to my mind is really the people. Um, I get to work with some really respected leaders that are talented in their respective uh, fields to kind of help build something. And on top of that, and I don't know if it's Midwestern values because we are headquartered in Indianapolis, but it shows uh, everyone is so willing to jump in and help regardless of their title. There's been countless times where I wanted to learn something or even build something that's outside of my skill set, but I can reach out to engineering, marketing, and kind of lend uh, uh, from their expertise. And that's actually been really fun and rewarding. Oh, that's a good one. That's a great answer. All right. Number two. What is your number one hiring pain point? What keeps you up at night? <laughs> um, timing. Timing is everything, uh, regardless of what's going on in the world or the market conditions. For as long as I've been doing this, timing has always been a pain point. And so luckily at Zylo, I do feel like we do a good job of sex setting expectations with candidates on what our process is going to look like in a timeline. And also, we just hope that we can match up to their timeline, which we don't always get to control. Um, we do have flexibility, and that's the fun part and what I get to do when we are able to match a candidate's timeline, but that's not always the case. Mm, yeah, timing, big one. Number three, favorite interview question to ask. Favorite question. So this is actually a recent favorite one that I've come to love, and it's, what do you need to be successful in your next role? Because it's kind of self-reflective and the answer is different for everyone. But also from my perspective, I want to make sure that Zylo has those things to really equip you for success. Mm, okay. What about the worst interview question you have asked or you have been asked or you believe should not be asked? Let's go with believe should not be asked. <laughs> Um, and I know it used to be a big one, but the, where do you see yourself in five years question? I do not think, 
um, should be asked anymore because if you think about five years ago, I don't think anyone's answer would have been correct. <laughs> 100%, the world is so different. Yes. Number five, number of stages in your interview process. So I work really hard with my team to make sure, um, including my conversation, we don't exceed over four. Um, and that's usually a combo of hiring manager, a peer conversation, a leadership conversation, or a light exercise. And when I say light exercise, I make sure it's not free work. Um, we're cognizant of the time that a candidate is spending as well. So I'd like to say we try to keep it as short and simple as possible to, again, catch timing. Mm, okay, perfect. Um, number six, which part of your job do you wish you could get a robot to do? Oh, goodness. Um, and hi, Alpha, if you want to take this idea and incubate it, I would be the first person to sign up for a trial user. Um, I would love a robot to actually give me a snapshot of candidate resumes for the companies they've worked for, because a lot of my time is spent researching on the actual company to figure out, is it a product? Is it a service? Like, what industry or what problems do you solve in this space to see if that actually translates to what we're looking for? That's really smart. I feel like I would definitely do that. <laughs> um, okay, so how, number seven, how do you decide which candidates to hire? How do we decide? Um, this would be something that I actually love about our culture and our process. We are um, very value driven in our interview stage. Um, so we really try to focus on, you know, experience is important and lends to success in the roles that we're hiring for. Um, but sometimes that uh, tipping point does come down to whether their values align with ours. For example, one of our core values is focus on customer first. And so for our customer facing roles, we dig very deep into that to make sure that those are things that are reflective in their experience and their attitude towards it. That's a good one. All right, very quickly, number eight, in-person or virtual interviews? Okay, I'm actually torn on this. I'm going uh -oh. to go with... <laughs> Virtual, because logistically, you can't get lost on your way to a Zoom call. Um, you, you can usually find your way there. Uh, you're in the comfort of a place that you choose to be, because I know interviews can be intimidating, and you've had to navigate sit through traffic and got lost, so you're already frazzled. So the virtual aspect does remove a lot of those things to make sure a candidate can show up and do their very best and bring themselves to the interview. Um, but I also don't want to discount the value and relationship rapport building that you get from an in-person scenario too. So you're you're opting for the 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 hybrid, the non-include, not included answer hybrid. Got it. <laughs> yes. Um, all right. Now for a couple of fun ones about you. Are you ready? Okay. And my my two favorite ones. All right, number nine, what was your first job? Where did you get your first paycheck or your first dollar? Okay, first job ever or after college? Give me both. Oh, okay, so first job ever, I was actually a golf caddy for our local <laughs> country club. Um, I know what the terms mean. I've actually never played around with golf. Don't ask me what driver or wood to use for a certain swing. Um, I've done top golf, uh, but that was my very first job ever. Ooh. And then after college, I actually landed in property management specific to student housing, which is an equally rewarding but challenging industry. <laughs> um, but I feel like that definitely laid the groundwork for a successful recruiting career. Oh yeah, definitely. Now I can like tap you if I need tips on property management. I still, I still got them. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it's like a life skill right there. Two life skills, golfing and property management. <laughs> Not so much on the golfing. Like I said, I can't help you much there. <laughs> um, all right. Last one. Bonus points if you sing it. What's your go-to karaoke song? <gasps> I am not going to sing it, but anything journey, any opportunity to sing, dance, or belt out a tune that's journey related, I'll take it. Ooh, is there a top journey song, like your number one? 
So Don't Stop Believing, which is an oldie but a goodie, our wedding song actually was Faithfully. So that always has a special place in my heart. Oh, I love that. I love that. (laughs) Romance and fun all in one. (laughs) Lazalyn, thank you so much. This was such a pleasure. It was great getting to know you a little better and learning a bit more about how you think about hiring. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you again for having me. This was fun. Of course. Bye.